Well, no one was more surprised than I at the feedback from the first cubicle combos post video. Um, I guess you guys like my random rambling, which is what I like to read and watch, but I thought I was the only one. I guess I'm not. Let me tell you right now, I have two windows open in my office, and that's significant for two reasons. One, the weather's beautiful, 70 and sunny, and I cannot wait to get outside later this afternoon. And two, I haven't had screens in my windows up here since we moved in, which was last June, um, because none of the windows in that our house had screens. They were all taken off, I don't know why, um, and put in the attic. So I've got cats, and I'm on the third floor, so I was like not going to open my window and watch my cats like fly down to the ground. Although, I mean, they're cats, so they'd probably be fine, but I didn't want to risk it. Also, the windows were like painted shut. Anyway, oh, I digress. My windows are open, and I'm sure that will affect the audio quality, but in the nicest way possible, I'm not going to close them. I'm so happy to have fresh air up here. That goes a long way for my mental state and I'm thrilled. Also, I need to tell you my husband installed them because he's a genius. I'm so grateful to be married to a handy guy. Um, he can do a lot and things he can't do, he wants to learn how to do anyway. So it may take him a little bit longer than the average person the first time around, but once he does it one time, like the first window took him three hours, the second window took him one hour. So he can, he's a quick learner and he likes to learn. So I'm glad that he's willing to do that stuff around the house. Anyway, so my windows are open. I'm getting over a cold. At one point, I'll sound like myself again. I'm not sure. I think I might just have this like deep, nasally voice for a long time. On my lips is Max Ellie Golding from, oh. My door is shaking in the frame because it's loose. <laughs> so, so we bought this house. It's, um, anyway, this lip color is Without Your Love. It's a cream sheen. I love it. Um, this house is 20 years old, which doesn't sound that old. Semi-chuck. But now that we've lived here for, not yet a year, but it'll be a year in June, we've really seen that this house was lived in hard for 20 years. And there's a lot of love that it needs. Like all new windows. Um... Yeah, we don't just need screens, we need new windows, because none of them are... Well, I have the draftiest house on the planet. <clears throat> anyway, I love this place. I'm just kidding. Um, so, I didn't tell you in my last cubicle convos the, the item that I intended to tell you about. Like, the whole reason I started cubicle convos was for this camera right here. This is the Samsung NX... Oh, what is it? And it's the Samsung NX500 camera. This isn't going to be a camera review. I talked about this in Periscope in January. Um, it is a small DSLR, right? It wouldn't be called a point and shoot, right? Because it has lens attachments. Um, I have a 30 millimeter lens on it. It has a screen that flips for selfies. The reason I love this camera and um, why it was my best purchase of 2015, that was the Periscope that I talked about it in, is it has Wi-Fi. And if I take a photo on here, let's say I take a photo of the boys that I want to send to, I mean everyone, but I'll just send to my family. I hit mobile and that like, launches the Wi-Fi signal. And then I open Wi-Fi on my phone connect to the Wi-Fi signal being broadcast from the camera. Once it's connected, I switch over to the Samsung app. I select the pictures. I can view up to a thousand photos that I took on this, in this, and then save them right to my phone. And then put them on my photo stream that my family's on that I just upload multiple pictures of the boys every day to. You're welcome for not putting those on Instagram. I love this camera. I'm so pleased. If you watched the birthday video from David's second birthday, it was shot with this entirely. Jordan held the camera for a while, so if any of the photos look really good, it's because she shot them. But she used this. I just was like, play with this, you'll like it. Jordan's my friend that's a photographer. Um, and I'm so thrilled with the photo quality, also the video quality. 
and the convenience of it. And I was taking photos of the boys constantly with my phone. The iPhone 6 camera isn't bad, but photos with this compared to the iPhone 6, no comparison. So if you have children or pets or you just have things you want to document a lot, and you find yourself not wanting to haul around like your big DSLR, like my Nike, oh my gosh, I'm a moron. I'm sitting here looking for my Nikon. It's, I'm talking to it. Um, and you don't want to carry like a big DSLR around with a big lens. This will be your friend. I got this because my sister has the NX300. I got the NX500 because it has more advanced video quality, uh, and I wanted that. But man, it is great. I really love it. I think if I was starting out as a blogger and I wanted to get a camera, I wouldn't even get an expensive DSLR. I would get this. And then if I found myself wanting like a Nikon or a Canon or like a nicer DSLR with more lens options maybe, I would then bump up, but this is such a greater, great starter camera for so many things. And the, the Wi-Fi aspect just makes it great if you like to share your photos immediately. Like put them on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anywhere, anywhere you want to put them. So I have to tell you about that. You need to know about it, and I'm so glad that I did. On my nails is Cascade Cool by Essie. So if you're local to the Raleigh area, I ate at Cowfish this past weekend. Doesn't sound appetizing, maybe, but it's delicious. I went with, Justin and I went on a double date with my friend Joanna and her husband Matt. So Joanna, myself, I met jo Joanna through a friend whose hair I did. So Joanna was my client and then we get, became friends. Her son Ryland is a day older than David. And then um, Lukey is a year now and then she has a little boy Griffin who is seven months. So, uh, like, we met our husbands, and we didn't know each other at this time, but, like, we met our husbands in the same year, got engaged the same year, got married the same year. Um, we just have weird, we're both obsessed with the weather. Like, we kind of have weird similarities. It's eerie. Um, anyway, she's become a really dear friend, and we've done this, like, whole motherhood thing similar, like, on a similar timeline and had each other through it, so it's been cool. But anyway, we ate at Cowfish. And it's like a burger and sushi place. I don't do sushi. Not a chance. So I got a burger. Everyone got a burger. Um, and it was, it was a big burger. Cooked medium, which is the only way a burger should be cooked in my opinion. Oh, it was good. So good. The fries were like the best fries I've ever had in my life. I think it's kind of a small chain. I'm pretty sure there's one in Charlotte. Uh, I think I saw on the website there was like three or four of them. So... If you have a cowfish by you, go to it. Get a burger. Get sushi. I don't know. I can't appreciate that. If you get a burger, tweet me and just say thanks because it will be the best burger of your life and you're welcome. All right. That's all I got to tell you today. Get back to work.